What's up gamers? My name is CJ and this is The Week in Gaming. This week in gaming, I'm gonna kick it off with my favorite news of the week regarding the upcoming launch of Gears of War 4, which is due out later this year. Exclusively to Xbox One, players will be able to access the global multiplayer beta beginning on April 24th until it ends on May 1st. To be eligible to play the beta, it's so, so simple. Just log on to Xbox Live, play Gears of War Ultimate Edition, and that's it. You're eligible to play. If you'd like more information on the beta or the game itself, and believe me, there's some incredible stuff coming out of this game so far, check out the full article for more details. LEGO Dimensions has a brand new level pack titled Midway Arcade. Now, normally these level packs include your typical popular superhero, but this one they've just picked out a random gamer kid. Don't fear, it's not like he's got a bag of Cheetos strapped to his chest and a neck beard or anything. He actually has a range of super shirts which determine what powers and abilities he has access to. It's his mission to round up the escaped characters and take them back to the Midway Arcade game and it looks like a hell of a lot of fun. There's over 20 classic arcade games to play so it's going to be an absolute blast. It's available now for Xbox One, Xbox 360 and Wii U. In other LEGO games, Captain America Civil War is getting its own dedicated character pack in the LEGO Marvel's Avengers game which means that you're going to get to play as characters like Scarlet Witch, Black Panther, Falcon, and Winter Soldier. Despite the movie not being released until May 6th, this one is actually available right now for free exclusively to PlayStation 3 and 4 players. We've got brand new DLC coming out of Fallout 4 titled Automatron, or Automatron and it's due out March 22nd. In Automatron, the villain is a dude by the name of the Mechanist who releases a horde of evil robots into the Commonwealth and it's your job to hunt them down, you can scrap them for parts and then build your own epic robot companions. I've got information on that plus information on the next two Fallout DLC releases so make sure you check out the full article for all of that information. Over the weekend of April 9 and 10, two of the world's best Call of Duty esports teams are coming down under to Australia to battle it out with the best teams that Australia and New Zealand have to offer. Optic Gaming and Millennium are esports idols and not only will they be playing in front of a live Melbourne audience, but they're also going to be doing some meet and greets and some autograph signings. Tickets are available through Ticketmaster, links down below if you'd like to get involved. Now I know this one isn't necessarily a game that you will play for fun, but it is a good example of games empowering people and improving lives. I can only imagine how difficult it would be to have a loved one diagnosed with dementia or a similar illness. This week Alzheimer's Australia has released an app that helps people with adjusting their home to suit the needs of people with dementia. There were a lot of things that I never actually really thought about, so I found it really, really interesting watching the gameplay video. If you're curious or if you know someone with dementia, I'll give you guys some links on where you can check it out. And it is available right now for $2.99 from the App Store. Sony are currently auctioning off a very rare 20th anniversary PS4 signed by the top dogs over at Naughty Dog Studios who, if you haven't heard of them, created Crash Bandicoot, The Last of Us, Uncharted, just a couple of casual, you know, worldwide renowned games. The proceeds are going to a youth cancer foundation, so it's an amazing cause to get behind. And you can check out the eBay auction through the links below, where at last check, it was sitting just over $2,000. Razer has announced their brand new Razer Blade gaming laptop with a whole bunch of new improvements on the last Blade laptop and more affordable than ever. And the Sony PlayStation VR, which is their upcoming virtual reality gear, is set to be released in Australia in 2016 with a recommended retail of about $550. While it seems a bit pricey as an add-on to your existing gaming setup, 
everything I've seen coming out of this VR stuff has looked incredible, so it may well be worth the high price tag. And speaking of VR, Ubisoft has revealed their upcoming game Werewolves Within, which mimics the style of a lot of classic tabletop games. You get a whole lot of people sitting around in a circle, trying to work out which among them is the werewolf. It seems like a fun concept, but with the VR price tag, I'm not expecting to walk into any of my friends' houses and see seven people sitting around wearing these things. So I think it's going to be more of an online community game, which is absolutely no issue. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. You can check out all the details in the links down below. This week in reviews, we check out some of the incredible games that I talked about last week, including Assault Android Cactus plus heaps more. And this week in cosplay, we get a little bit magical with some ninjas and some sorcery. Our incredible cosplay journalist has brand new content for you guys every single week. So make sure you're keeping up to date with everything happening in the world of cosplay. And that's it for the week in gaming, guys. If you'd like to keep up to date with everything happening in the gaming universe, go follow MKAU Gaming Australia. If you'd like to keep up to date with everything I'm up to, you can find me over at Geek Skilled Official. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.